Um, so with that, I'd really love to just take it all back to the planning stage of the event before you had, you know, chosen Fondi as your platform. What were you looking for? How did you approach the search? What was that process like? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Giggling because um, it was quite the process. So, um, you know, if we take us all the way back to like the beginning of the mm -hmm. pandemic, start, you know, Startup San Diego, um, we have the way we execute our mission as a nonprofit is through our programs and events, um, live events. And so, um, you know, pivoting to a virtual event from an in-person event is incredibly challenging as everyone knows. And so, um, you know, I think initially you, you are looking for, and I'll, and I'll kind of talk about what we were originally looking for. Right. And then, um, you know, you do the event, you do the thing, you use the technology and you realize, gosh, like I really should have been looking for this, this, and this. And mm -hmm. so some of those initial things, um, you know, we host San Diego Startup Week, which is typically a five day in-person conference that we host at, you know, the San Diego Convention Center. So huge in terms of scale. Um, so reimagining that, um, there was a certain set of factors that was really important to us, um, attendee experience being first and foremost. Um, you know, it, there are certain micro moments that are uh, at those types of events that are very hard to recreate, um, you know, in a virtual setting. And so I think experience um, and, and having a platform that makes the space for those micro moments to happen um, really authentically and naturally was super important for us. Mm. Navigation um, of the platform itself, right? Um, in terms of wayfinding, is it easy to use? Um, which, you know, is kind of a part of the experience as well. Um, uh, sponsor visibility, right? We're a nonprofit organization. So for us, we're, we really rely on our investors to really fuel and power the organization. So ensuring that there's that strong sponsor visibility. Um, and I've already mentioned, you know, we're a nonprofit. So price point was obviously a huge factor for us. Um, and I would say the next really big piece was the networking component. Um, because again, and, and that kind of goes along the lines of experience. Um, but, you know, meeting people, building connections, making connections and creating them. Um, Startup San Diego builds community. And so for us, that was like a very, very big factor in what we were looking for. Um, so we executed the event, uh, you know, with the technology that we, um, you know, decided to go with um, and then, you know, flash forward to learnings. So things that um, we didn't necessarily put huge emphasis on that, in planning convergence was so incredibly important for us was back-end functionality and mm. sort of logistics right um like i said before uh planning an in-person event is like it requires a very unique skill set and um you know planning a virtual event <laughs> requires like a very unique skill set and um you know is a huge challenge in and of itself. And so your solution, <laughs> sorry, she's just very okay. passionate about this also. Yes. yes. <laughs> about mama and all the stress that I went through. But um, it's important that your solution doesn't create more challenges for you, right? That it actually solves the problem that you need. And so um, the back end functionality was for us like a huge, huge component in making the decision for convergence. And, and honestly, like a product that um, felt like it was built to solve my problems. Um, I, you know, I, I mentioned we went with a different platform for um, startup month and I walked away just like frustrated, right? And, and I would say that in producing convergence, ah. like within, and, and you guys aren't paying me to say this, but um, I literally, I have like Slack messages with my team talking about, oh my God, like this feels like it was built for us. 